Hello, this is Jay White 3 and this is my Australian Grand Prix review for the 2017 season. And uh, yeah, Sebastian Vettel won the race, obviously. If you haven't seen yet, then that is what happened. From the two Mercedes of Hamilton and Bottas, and yeah, I don't think it was a good race at all, I'll be honest. We only saw about, like the overtakes were definitely in the single figures, I'm pretty sure. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure myself, but... Hopefully the races will get better this season, but Vettel won the race by, by uh, overcutting Lewis Hamilton, which I was quite surprised about because Mercedes are normally quite good with their strategies, but they weren't today at all, as uh, Vettel was able to just overcut uh, Hamilton as he got stuck behind the staff, which is very interesting. And uh, Tommy being stuck behind the staff, and this driver is right in my way in the Red Bull. And uh, yeah, so... Vessel won the race, first win for Ferrari since Tie 15, and I'm sure they're very happy. But people saying that it was an amazing race because Vettel, uh, Vettel won, I just don't think they're very true because the amount of on-track battling we had was pretty much naught. There was, I think, the only good part of the race in terms of racing was right at the end when Ocon and Hulkenberg absolutely banged Alonso. But yeah, I'm not too keen on the new regulations, I'll be honest, but I'm sure they, well, I'm not sure, but I hope they get better anyway for the uh, next Grand Prix, which might be slightly easier to overtake on. But then running down the rest of the order, that's a bit of a drift on the run that turn. Oh, we had Raikkonen in fourth, Verstappen fifth place. And uh, Ricardo obviously retired quite early on, which is very disappointing in his home Grand Prix. He barely made the start. It was two laps down before he started, so it will want to be better in the future. And then we had Felipe Massa with the loneliest race to ever see. In, uh, he was a minute behind Raikkonen or behind Verstappen I should say, and then he just was nowhere, he was way ahead of Perez as well. And we had Sergio Perez in seventh, followed by uh, followed by Carl Sainz and Danny Kvyat for Toro Rosso, which is a good start for them. I think Kvyat's almost equaled his total points at Toro Rosso last season, uh, in one race this season, so good for him. And then Esteban Ocon and Nico Hülkenberg, who uh, they were stuck behind Alonso for most of that race until the McLaren gave up and they both managed to overtake Alonso but unfortunately Hulkenberg just missing out on points which is uh, disappointing for myself but yeah the uh, the one stop was clearly the way to go and yeah it was a very underwhelming race there were quite a few times when the battle looked like it was on the cards with uh, Bottas was closing up to Hamilton quite a lot but I, I imagine Mercedes probably told Bottas not to overtake him because that would have really, really put Hamilton over the edge and then uh, Verstappen was, over, was close to overtaking Raikkonen as well but then as soon as the driver gets close, of course, there's just dirty air everywhere and it's impossible to actually get past. So, pretty underwhelming race, but uh, it's, a good, it's a good championship at least. So, Vettel's leading the championship and it looks like it should be quite a good fight between Vettel and Hamilton for the championship at this point. But, obviously, it's very early days. And um, the rest of the order, then Giovinazzi in 12th, which is a very good start for him. Like, albeit that is second last, apart from Van Dorn, because everyone else is retired. But uh, yeah, 12th place on the on your debut is never bad in the slowest car. And then Stoffel Van Dorn had a bit of a challenging day out. I think, I think he was on the grass like three or four times. And yeah, never really got going. But I'm sure he'll get better throughout the season. It's, just, it's just pretty much his debut, is, apart from the one race of last season. But then Alonso retired, but along with Magnussen, Stroll, Ricardo, Ericsson, Palmer and Grosjean all having mechanical issues. So... Uh, yeah, very uh, race of attrition. There's like the seven retirees, I think that was. So uh, pretty much that's how like, Giovinazzi got 12th, is just by carrying on. He hardly beat anyone. He spent most of the race just being lapped, but he still managed to get 12th thanks to everyone else retiring. And Roman Grosjean, feel sorry for him after retiring from, I think it was 8th place or 7th place early on in the race with an engine failure. So yeah, disappointing for the Frenchman. And uh, it just shows how much, how little testing means for reliability, really, because Haas had a flawless, reliab flawless reliability in testing. And as soon as they get to a race, both cars DNF with mechanical issues. So, yeah, disappointing for the American team. And, uh, but yeah, on the whole, a bad race in terms of action and, uh, yeah, overtaking, but a good race in terms of the championship and the rivalry between Vettel and Hamilton should be very interesting this season. So, I think. I only got excited at one part of the race, apart from the race start, which is always going to get me excited. Uh, the the only good moment really was uh, Hulkenberg and and uh, Ocon both overtaking Alonso three wide down down the main straight, which was pretty nice to see. So hopefully we get more of that in the upcoming races. Uh, yeah, uh, if you liked this video, then leave a like on it, and subscribe for more for more race reviews, which will be coming hopefully before and after every race. And uh, this has been Joe White Three. 
and I will see you next time.